So you may want to integrate a small display like this into your home automation system. You can find a display like this in electronics around you or just buy one. You can use that to monitor any sense of value or even information from the web. And if you have a home assistant and an ESP module like this, it is super easy to build and configure this system with ESP Home. First, you need to flash an ESP module like this with ESP Home firmware. Also, you need to connect your character LCD display to an ESP module. Check the links in the description if you need to know how to do those things. In this video, I will configure this display to show a static text, a clock, and any sensor value from Home Assistant. I will be using the GPIO pins to wire this display. It is possible to use an additional small chip to combine all these pins into just two wires. But I don't have that chip, so I will show you how to do that with just the GPIO pins. So open the configuration file of your ESP module. I am using a Wemos D1 Mini development board. Also, there are other ESP boards that you could use for this project. I advise you to set a static IP address for your module like this, but that is not necessary. Next, copy-paste this configuration to enable the display platform. You need to know the dimensions of your display. That is the amount of characters and rows. If you don't know that, just power up the display and count them. First, I set the update interval to 5 seconds. When we do the clock, I will change that to 1 second. Next, configure your pins. I will be using this display in 4-bit mode. So, there are just 6 pins we actually need to make this work. My pins are labeled with a D like that because I'm using the Wemos D1 Mini. All of these pins will be outputs, so it really doesn't matter which ones you use. Click the link in the description to see what to do with all the rest of the pins on this display. So now, we have have our display platform configured. Let's put some static text on our display. You need to use what is called a lambda expression for this. This simple piece of code will display letters on three rows, like this. The numbers in this code represent the position, the X and the Y. It's very simple. Next, let's put a clock on the bottom row. Copy past this configuration to enable clock on your ESP module. Then add this piece of code. Don't worry, I will put all of this in the description for you to use. Upload your configuration. And now we see time on our display. Soon it is synchronized with Home Assistant time. You made a digital clock right there. Now, let's put a sensor value from Home Assistant on this display. First, we need to create a sort of a bridge between Home Assistant and this module. This piece of code will import any sensor value from Home Assistant. This is my temperature sensor in my bathroom. Write here the ID of the sensor you want to import from Home Assistant. Next, give this bridge sensor an ID of its own to use inside this ESP module. This name could be anything you want. Next. Copy-paste this piece of lambda. Here, you need to write the same ID that we just gave our bridge sensor. And as usual, these numbers represent the position on the display, the X and the Y. And here you can write any text you wish to be shown before the actual sensor value. So, wait for the sensor data to synchronize. And there is our temperature. Now you can add a letter C or a letter F after this value if you want. And there you have it. With this, you can monitor any data you want from your home automation environment. This way you don't have to run your computer around the clock to monitor something small. Visit the ESP Home website for more information about different implementations. Ask me in the comments if you have any question. I will be glad to help you. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.